Hello, it's Vincent here, and if you're anything like me, you're a Borderlands fan, and so I was just thinking the other day, holy cow, people don't even know that, like, I've actually made a Borderlands, like, card game, and it was actually in direct communication with someone at Gearbox and for Gearbox. I mean, that's just crazy, and somehow, like, <laughs> these things just sort of slipped my mind, and I'm like, I need to tell the story and get it out there. So... <laughs> I don't know why I did that, it's weird. Uh, so, what the hell happened? So, um, basically there was a Borderlands, the pre-sequel contest, in which you had to level up any four of the main characters and decide how you would set up their skill trees. I chose Nisha, and I showed, uh, showed off how I would level her up, and I gave it a name, and I was chosen uh, as a winner of that contest. So what they did is they messaged me on Facebook to say that I won and the winner would receive an awesome poster uh, and actually yeah, an awesome poster. They would send me a cool poster. And what happened was they messaged me on Facebook but because they were not added on my friends list it went to my other inbox and I did not see it at all. So like a month passed, I, I, didn't hear any, I just kind of forgot about it. I wasn't expecting to win because it had like thousands of comments. Well, eventually the guy like adds me on Facebook, and I'm like, who's this guy? I don't know. What says? <laughs> it turns out it says that he works at Gearbox. Sure, I'll go ahead and add him. Well, um, he then messages me, and it went to my direct inbox, and he said, hey, you won. I just added you to tell you that and to get your address so I can send you out this awesome poster. And I was like, okay, that's cool. That's cool. So I went ahead and... Uh, sent him my address and he sent me the poster and I still have it hung up right above my TV actually and but there's more to the story than just that so after that um, as time passed he saw that I designed games he saw that I designed tabletop games and he saw I was very hardworking and whatever else and he reached out to me and said Vincent um, we're going to be at PAX East and we're going to have a major Borderlands party and we'd love to have some sort of big social event that really captures a lot of fun and gets a lot of people involved that involves Borderlands. So, I want you to help me come up with a game or design and uh, basically come up with whatever you want on your own and then pitch me your ideas. And that was super exciting. That was like an amazing thing to, to hear and to actually have like some like this weird like opportunity to actually work with Gearbox in this weird way uh, to help design a game for them. So what came to mind was that at conventions you see a lot of people sitting in these circles playing Ultimate Werewolf, and it's a fun social game where you close your eyes and someone's a werewolf. They choose someone that, to kill that night, and then you open your eyes. You're trying to figure out who the werewolf is, and that is a very easy to play game, and it can play like 20 plus people. So I was like, okay, so that's where my mind was thinking as far as types of games would go. I think his his mind was thinking, I can't, one of us had some sort of idea about some sort of like Assassin's, like there's an Assassin's Creed game that someone did at a convention, and apparently that was a lot of buzz, but I think that involved an app, and he said that we didn't have the resources and funding dedicated to this project to do an app. So I was like, so that's what made me think even more so a card game. And, uh, let's see, so I designed the Tales from the Borderlands themed, like, werewolf game, and the idea is, is you have your two con artists who are basically trapped inside a bandit camp, and their whole goal is to get the vault key and to sneak out of there without dying. They know who each other are, but none of the bandits know who anyone is, so they're just killing everyone off left and right. Then, then you can have a vault hunter that's there who knows who the bandits are and is trying to kill them. And so it's just chaos ensues everywhere. Because I don't believe the Vault Hunter knows who the con artists are. It's been a while since I've played the game, so forgive me there. But um, it ends up being like a crazy twist on the werewolf game. It's a lot of fun. You have the con artists trying to secretly work together and try to like persuade the others from, from not finding out who they are. The game scales up. There's also a nomad that's uh, like the bandit nomads uh, in the game where they have more voting power if they reveal that they're the nomad, but then that puts a bigger target on their back. And what ultimately ended up happening is once I pitched that to them, uh, I believe they liked it and they thought it was really good, but then pretty much the entire budget was cut and they just said that they basically couldn't do anything anymore. 
Um, but they really appreciated uh, me pitching the ideas and for my cooperation and everything. So they sent me uh, they sent me the game. Uh, I think that was before the game came out. So like they so I so I didn't buy the game. They just sent me like the game bef like as it released, um, or I got it like you know around the time it released. And that was just cool. Like I mean, <laughs> to be able to collaborate in that way and just to like have a game sent to me. Uh, to this day, I've never had that happen before, let alone for one of my favorite franchises of all time. But um, yeah, that's my crazy like story. And uh, unfortunately, the guy who I worked with on that, he had since left Gearbox. Um, so that kind of like cuts that connection there. Also, uh, I need to mention before I forget that they actually invited me to go to PAX East and they were going to pay my full uh, way into PAX East and I would be able to hang out with them and do all this cool stuff in the VIP section and in the party and stuff. But I didn't have the funds to travel up there and I didn't have the funds to like have the hotel and all that stuff. And I believe I was working at the time and I couldn't get off work and basically everything else was not going my way as far as being able to go there. But you know, uh, I don't like to say I have any regrets, but if I had to choose a regret, maybe one of my regrets would be not going to PAX East that time because that would have been a lot of fun. I'm sure we met a lot of awesome people, and uh, I don't know, who knows, maybe my life would be a lot different uh, <laughs> had I gone there. But uh, yeah, uh, designing that Tales from the Borderlands game was a lot of fun. Uh, and if you're interested in seeing that, then I'm not sure if I'll have it posted anywhere by the time that you see this. But uh, if I do post it up, it'll be available for free, of course, because it's just there to, to, you know, for anyone that loves Borderlands like I do. Um, but join us in our Discord. You know, we have a link for that below. We talk Borderlands all the time. We talk video games and anime. And uh, I'm also a game designer, if you haven't picked up on that. So you'll see all the different projects I'm working on. If you're interested in seeing Tales from the Borderlands, we'll find a way to get that sent to you. Anyways, thank you so much for listening to my crazy Borderlands story. And stay awesome. So, Drake, what brings you here to my quarters? Well, Mr. Overhaul, uh, you see, there is a certain problem with our pandemic. Yeah? The problem being there is another one that has started. A villain's trying to upstage us? No. Worse. A natural virus, sir. Called COVID-19. COVID-19? Or in simple terms, or hero terms, the coronavirus. Damn it!